Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the different types of epithelial tissue. Now broadly there are two types of epithelium, simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Now as the name suggests, simple and compound, wherever it is something simple, the uh, structurally it is generally not very complicated as the name suggests, right? And the next one is compound epithelium. Again, they also have subtypes. So simple epithelium is of three types, that is simple squamous, simple cuboidal and simple column. Again, compound epithelium can be stratified or transitional. Now what are each of these types that we will discuss a little later, we will uh, dedicate a slide for each type of epithelium. So again they are again, they can again be subdivided as stratified squamous, stratified cuboidal, pseudo stratified columnar and transitional epithelium. So these are some of the types of epithelium. Now we will talk about what are simple and compound epithelium. So let us start with simple squamous epithelium. Now before I talk about simple squamous epithelium, let me tell you what is simple epithelium and what is compound epithelium. Whenever this term simple comes, that means there is a single layer of cells. Right? So whatever the type or the shape of the cells may be, but there will be only one single layer. So that type of epithelium is called simple epithelium. If there are more than one layer of cells, that is multiple layer of cells, then it is called as compound epithelium. Okay. So now we are talking about simple squamous epithelium. So what is simple squamous epithelium? It is a single layer of thin flat plate-like structures. So squamous epithelium. Squamous is because of the shape of the epithelium. So they are generally thin flat cells. Now as you can see in this picture, they are quite flat as well as thin. So these thin plate-like cells, when they are arranged in one single layer, it is known as simple squamous epithelium. Here some of the characteristics of these kind of epithelial cells is that the nucleus in their cells are flattened and oblong. So here you can see the nucleus, they are quite flattened and little oblong in shape. Where do we find them? They are found in the lining of cavities like mouth cavity, esophagus, heart, lungs. So it just acts as a lining. Now the question is why thin flat epithelial cells are found in such locations. Why this type of epithelium is present in the lining of such cavities? Now, as at all these locations which I have mentioned here like mouth or esophagus or heart or lungs, now at all these locations, transport of substances take place through a selectively permeable membrane, right? Each of these places if you see. If you talk about lungs, transport of oxygen happens here, right? If you talk about mouth, again, whatever substances you eat, right? So some transfer of nutrients happen through the membranes. So now for each of these organs, there is some transport of substances happening through their lining, correct? So because of that, a thin flat layer of cells will be helpful here. And that is why simple squamous epithelium are found in all these locations. They are also found in the outer layer of skin, they offer very little protection, however, they allow passage of materials. As I said, each type of epithelial cell will have its own specific function. Now, when we talked about epithelium as a whole, we saw that they perform basically three functions. Protection, absorption and secretion, right? The major basic functions. So, this type of epithelium that is simple squamous, they act as lining of cavities and that is why their main function is to allow passage of materials. They allow transfer of materials through them. Right? Okay, so let us move on to the next one that is simple cuboidal epithelium. So here also again, you know, since it is a simple epithelium, there has to be only one layer of cells. It is cuboidal, so it has to be, the shape has to be something like a cuboid, something like this. So as you can see in this picture, I mean not exactly like this, but something like 
this a cuboid shape okay so let us see what are now we understand what is simple cuboidal simple means one layer cuboidal in the shape of a cuboid okay so now the question is what is their function where are they found so they are single layer of cube shaped cells they are found in the lining of kidney tubules and ducts of salivary glands so these are the two important places where they are found now can you guess what could be their function if they are found in salivary glands what are salivary glands what are glands as such glands are those organs of the body which secrete something right which secrete hormones which secrete enzymes so they are generally glands so if it is found in the ducts of salivary glands it has something to do with secretion correct again they are also found in the kidney tubules what is the function of kidney kidney is a part of which organ system of the body excretory system exactly and what does the kidney do in the excretory system it absorbs it tries to reabsorb and absorb the substances which are present inside the body so absorption is one important property of the kidney tubules so now you can guess what is the function of simple cuboidal epithelium so it provides mechanical support that is one thing it offers some protection but mostly helpful in secretion and absorption so this is one of the most important function which they perform but however if you compare simple cuboidal when you talk about protection because generally these epithelial cells are present on the outer layer they act as covering so everywhere we expect little bit of protection but however not all of them provide protection for example simple squamous epithelium they do not provide much protection however this simple cuboidal epithelium provide a little better protection than simple squamous so on similar lines let us move on to the next one that is simple columnar epithelium so again single layer of cells column what is the many rows and columns we all know right so column th this is your row these are the rows and these are your columns so when i talk about columns i am talking about something tall so these are single layer of tall pillar like cells okay where do we see them what is their function they offer little more protection compared to squamous and cuboidal epithelium now you see the this job of protection is gradually increasing as we are moving from squamous to column squamous to cuboidal and then cuboidal to column now that's because when we were talking about squamous epithelium they were very thin it, it the cells were very thin so it was basically a very thin layer right one single layer that too very thin we then we move to cuboidal they were like cube shaped so at least little thicker than that now it is columnar epithelium which are quite tall so a quite thick layer so the protection is increasing it is something like this let us suppose if you have a covering this much thick you have another covering which is this much thick and again you have another covering which is this much thick so which will provide more protection obviously this one right so in a very similar fashion here also the columnar epithelium provides maximum protection when compared to squamous and cuboidal epithelium so they specialize in secretion and absorption so where do we see them they are present in the inner lining of intestine and stomach so that means they play some very important roles during the process of digestion so as i said they specialize in secretion and absorption and these are the two things which are very much needed in intestine and stomach because during the process of digestion intestine is the place where the digested food is absorbed so that absorption characteristic is required again for the digestion process to take place there has to be some secretion of digestive enzymes so that way secretion property is also very much important right now so now we will see that there is another form of simple columnar epithelium which is little modified than this so what is that mo additional modification to the simple columnar epithelium it is that that they have cilia attached to them we all know what is cilia like right? they are nothing but thin hair like structures which are present on the surface of the epithelium so what do they do 
they do a they perform a very special function the movements of the cilia they are small hair like structures and those hair like structures when they move their movement help to move other things along with it so this type of cili columnar epithelium with cilia is known as ciliated epi columnar epithelium and we can find this type of epithelium in the respiratory tract of human beings now what purpose do they solve in the respiratory tract so this is how they look so see here just one layer of cell but above this you have this hair like structure like this so that is a ciliated simple columnar epithelium now what happens in the respiratory tract is mucus there is a very slippery fluid like substance which is secreted by some specialized glands now they protect the lungs by trapping the food particles that enter into it in a in a particular direction through nose during breathing so inside your nose there are these mucus present now cilia move and because of this movement it helps to move the mucus that is sweeps the mucus away from the nostrils and towards the back of the throat so this prevents this mucus to run down through the nose and reach the respiratory tract so basically the movement of the cilia helps to prevent the foreign particles enter inside the respiratory tract and cause any damage so this is ciliated columnar epithelium so this is also a simple epithelium because here also we are talking about only one layer of cell thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again